this is the packaging for the Marvel Legends Mark 7 Iron Man part of the 10 year anniversary line for the movies if you get all the figure sets the card art all matches up on the side and this is based on that first Avengers movie film this armor and I'm going to open this up and continue the review this is Iron Man out of the package it is almost seven inches tall and this is based on that Avengers film he has swap out hands which we'll get to in a moment but let's just take a look at the character first and check out that armor design these are removable these blast effects you could see here that the hand is pre-posed see the hand part this doesn't move the articulation and the way this part is curved the plate it's for the repulsor to be up and the same goes for the left hand there is no articulation to swivel it down and this part is posed up the plate but the swap out hands are two fists and the plates are down in terms of the posing and you can move this so so swapped into two regular hands for the posing but what really stands out is check this out the four flaps for the character and what's nice is you just put this down here and you put this down here and there you go this is a soft plastic the shoulder pad area usually is a problem in terms of Iron Man figures how to get it right but I think they did a good job here you can see the paint apps looks really nice to design see it's really detailed the head on a ball joint up range down to the sides ball jointed shoulder area can go in or out up or down and swivel bicep this doesn't get in the way really double elbow articulation the wrists if you use the fists can go in or out and you can swivel it around if you put in these hands you get less articulation but it's supposed to be for the repulsors upper torso range isn't too much too much down or up at all but side to side and the waist looks like there's articulation but can't move it so nothing there the hips and a ball joint side to side up and down swivel thighs double knee articulation nothing at the calf but the ankles and a ball joint can go up down and to the sides and overall just a really nice Iron Man figure and could give my final thoughts about it in a moment final thoughts about this Iron Man that's based on the MCU movies and in particular the first Avengers movie and this is a really nicely done figure first of all the first standout feature is the wing flaps in the back you have four of them that you can lift up like I did here you have extra set of swap out hands and you get the two repulsor blast effects you could put into palms I think it's a lot of accessories and just an overall nice look for the figure since it's almost seven inches tall and Iron Man's supposed to be a guy in armor it fits in scale properly with the other figures that are about six inches in scale without armor just a look the detail this is really nicely done and the first Avengers movie was fantastic and this was the armor later on in the film that he wore and 
just really nice presentation, especially if you're building a movie display with other Avengers, or you just want a really nice Iron Man figure that's movie-based, this one is it. Hasbro has done, in this case, a spectacular job. And if you're considering getting it, I would definitely recommend it. This is definitely one of the better Iron Man figures in this scale. And so that's the review. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later.